Hello everyone, today I'd like to demonstrate how easily connect MongoDB to your Spring Boot application. And as usual, I start from Spring Start and generate empty Spring project. Uh, for my purpose of this video, I just need one dependency, Spring Data MongoDB. And that's it. I'm not gonna add any dependencies at all. I uh, just rename my artifact from demo to, for example, Mon MongoDB sample. And that's it. I unzip my generated project to the required folder. And then I open it with my IntelliJ IDEA. And of course, uh, to use MongoDB, you need to install it first on your computer. I prefer using uh, Docker and Docker Compose to avoid installing packages and to, to avoid installing databases and just run uh, MongoDB through the Docker. I can leave you my Docker Compose YAML file for running my MongoDB container. As you can see, my MongoDB password and user is root. I navigate back to my test project and I'm gonna create, firstly I need some entity classes which I'm gonna save to the MongoDB. So I navigate to my packages and create, for example, let, let's say we will store users with some data. A user class and then I create first field. And first field I'm gonna say is user ID. In MongoDB, the default the default object for ID is string. So I'm not gonna change the default uh, behavior of MongoDB. So I'm gonna create ID uh, of string, and I'm gonna mark this field as ID, and that's it. Actually, I don't need any annotations or some settings for MongoDB entity uh, like column or uh, generated value or something like that. So I'm gonna add some mm, more fields. And let's say, uh, let's store some embedded object of the user. Let's create, for example, user role and store it in our user. Of course, I generate getters and setters. I just forgot to add Lombok to uh, to avoid adding this code. And let's add to stream method because we're gonna see our results of our saving in, in the console. And let's get back to our user and generate. And let's store, for example, a user roles in the list.
and that's it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add is just a connection for my MongoDB. I'm going to use uh, just a URL string, but uh, you can use, for example, a username, a password separately. Uh, I'm just copy paste it from my previous project, which I uh, wrote for test purposes. And what what is here? It's just a Spring Data MongoDB database is your database of MongoDB, and Spring Data MongoDB URI is just um, username, password, uh, URL, host of the database. If your database runs on your computer, just paste the local host. Uh, the default port for MongoDB, and all source is admin. Be uh, it's this string requires because it fails to uh, I, I haven't created uh, the default user so I'm gonna use admin auth source to save my uh, data in the MongoDB but you can for your project you can create the separate user uh, and uh, you don't need this string for for that purpose so uh, that's it actually uh, the next I'm gonna create is just Mongo, um, Mongo data repository it's just an interface the same it's it's similar like for uh, Spring Data GPA repository but this one is for Mongo repository I call it user Mongo repository and it extends uh, Mongo, uh, Mongo repository. Uh, as for the data repository, for the GPA repository, you need to uh, specify uh, the object and the key. My object is user and the key is string because my ID is string object and actually that's it as for spring data gpa you have some default methods from scratch uh, for your mongo repository it's save all find save and uh, find by id and etc let's just test some some default methods in my main class uh, let's create application event listener uh, this annotations this annotation um, triggers when the application starts and then the method executes uh, right after the application initialized I'm gonna auto wire my uh, user Mongo repository. And firstly, I'm gonna create my uh, user role. And let's create the user. Now let's set age, for example, 25. Let's set email test gmail.com. And let's set roles as single to list. Only one role. And let's 
for example, call user Mongo repository, save user. The same as you did for the Spring Data GPA. Nothing changed, only the database, SQL database to non-SQL database. And then you just let's let's uh, select our user. and see if it uh, selects our user. Let's start our application and see what happens. And here we are. We just have our user with generated ID from the MongoDB. We just have our uh, username email and the embedded object for our user let's just create another one to see that we we are not we, we haven't uh, did a mistake uh, we haven't done a mistake okay let's create user with test one and let's set the same age and Let's add, add some more logs. And let's start our application once again and see the response logs. And yeah, we see uh, saving user to DB and getting users from the DB. And this time we have two users. It's our test one and um, test one and em email test one user, which we set for this object. And as the same as for uh, Spring Data GPA, you can write your custom methods in your user Mongo repository. For example, uh, let's say let's write some custom method to find user by email. And this time let's find our user. So we don't need to save it to the database. Firstly, we get in all our users from the DB and then let's find our user by email. And let's just uh, uh, draw it into the logs. Yeah, that's it. Let's start our application once again and see if our custom method works properly. Yeah, they see that we found our user by email. As you see, guys, uh, Spring Data um, Mongo is the same as it's the similar as print data gpa and that's it what i wanted to show you today don't afraid to connect your application to the mongodb write your own examples and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and goodbye